Welcome to this episode of Between Two Torches. Today I am here with Tori Zarnecki, um, who has her own company with Love, a clothing brand here on campus. So Tori, you are a junior early ed major yes. here at LaSalle. Yes. What drew you to come to LaSalle? I'm actually a transfer student, so okay. I just transferred here this fall. So I've only been here for like a semester and a half, but I really love how small it is and how close but far it is from my house. So it's easy enough to go home when I want to, but not too close. And I also love how close it is to Boston. Where did you transfer from? I transferred to the community college back home. And where are you from? Westfield, Mass. Westfield, Mass. Okay. And what made you choose early ed as your major? I always knew that I wanted to work with kids. In my high school, we actually had a preschool. So I worked in there for two years, and I absolutely loved it. So that kind of just really proved to me that that's what I wanted to do. Fantastic. So besides teaching and being here at LaSalle, what are some of your other interests? Obviously making clothes, which is what I started this past um, January. Um, and just I've always been like such a shopper, such like... I always love going to the mall, so I thought, like, how cool would it be to make my own clothes and have people shop my own clothes? So that's kind of what I've been doing recently. Yeah, so it's a big jump from education it to is. fashion. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and what inspired you to begin this project? Um, a lot of girls in my hometown, like, actually have their own Instagram-based small businesses. We have, like, anything from bracelets to koozies to like other handmade jewelry and their businesses have always been so like inspiring and so cool to me. I've always been like very intrigued by them. Um, so I kind of knew that I wanted to do it when I saw them all doing it. But honestly, like I never really thought of like pursuing it or really like going forward with it until this past winter. Um, and during quarantine, I is obviously when like the whole tie dye trend like really blew up. So when I was seeing that, like at home stuck in quarantine, I was like, how cool would it be to just like do tie dye? There's so many different things you can do with tie dye. But my only setback was I didn't want to do something that's so similar to everybody else. So that's why I didn't end up pursuing tie dye during quarantine. And it kind of took me a while to come up with customizing hoodies and sweatpants and all of that. But um, I did get the idea in my head and I ran with it and now we're here. <laughs> so cool. Uh, so you began this project back in January, you said. How did you come up with the name With Love? Um, me and my two friends were actually just sitting in her bedroom right when I figured out I wanted to do this. And we were trying to come up with like a bunch of different things. And that's honestly like what we just came up with. So <laughs> just the spur of the moment. The spur of decision. the moment. What's your main goal with creating this clothing brand? Right now, I think just balancing everything with school. Obviously, it's been really hard. I started over break, so that's really the only thing that I had to focus on. Um, so that was great over break, and now I'm here at school, and it's definitely a big adjustment, having to do homework and also planning time to get sweatshirts done. Um, so I think just for right now, getting through the semester. But over the summer, I'm definitely very excited to release some summer clothing, and hopefully we'll get a little bigger in the summer. <laughs> Are you making these in your dorm room? I am. <laughs> Everything is in my dorm room. I actually am in a double, but I only don't have a roommate. So I have the whole other side of with love and all my equipment is over there. Shout out to my roommates who hear me making clothes at 11 o'clock at night. But um, yeah, everything's in my dorm um, and I ship them out through the mail room. So yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. How has it been going so far? It's been really, really good. Honestly, coming back to school and getting all of my orders from kids here at LaSalle has been so cool. It's definitely a very unique way to make friends and to meet people and to talk to people. That's one of my favorite things about it is just all the different people I get to talk to. Um, so I think just seeing all the different faces that pop up in my DMs ordering clothes is so cool. So a lot of your items have these positive messages on them. Yes. How do you come up with these designs and these phrases? Um, most of them you will see that they're kind of just common phrases that you see on the internet all the time. But I like to put my own twists, like own fonts and own colors into them and just make them into really inspiring clothes. 
because that's like kind of what I want my brand to be around is just like inspiring, love yourself, like positive that kind of thing. Positivity. Right. Positivity. So how do you make the merchandise? So I have a machine that cuts all of the vinyl out for me. It's heat transfer vinyl. And then I have a heat press, which is like my favorite purchase I've ever made in my whole entire life. It presses the vinyl into the fabric for me and I ship them out and that's it. <laughs> cool. Do you do custom orders? I do. That is also another one of my favorite things about this brand is that I will take custom orders whenever somebody wants them. And it's so cool to see the things other people come up with. Um, and it also gives other people a chance to see what other people are making and all that. What are, have been some of your custom order orders so far? Um, I've had uh, like obviously custom college gear, which I, that's been like a huge hit on my Instagram. Um, and just like other sayings that people want and other designs that people have been seeing. So if anyone's interested in ordering, you can put pretty much anything. Literally anything. Fantastic. Yes. What do people need to know about your brand? I think what people need to know is that this clothing is made to last. Um, I do put a lot of time and effort into these clothes. So I would never send some, like somebody something that is going to end up wearing off in a month. Um, so it's sustainable clothing and something else to know is again, like you can literally put anything on a hoodie or sweatpants or anything. So seeing other people's creativity is something that is obviously very welcome. So people can order through your Instagram? Yes. Right now we are just based on Instagram. Um, I think another one of my goals is to eventually grow to a website, but just right now we're doing Instagram. Do you have any new designs coming soon? I do. I have a couple designs here that aren't even out yet. So Okay, well, we'll look at them in a That'll minute. Cool. So how can people stay up to date on your brand and your designs? Um, just periodically checking my Instagram. Obviously, right now it's a little bit slower just because of school, but I do post on there. I try to post at least once or twice a week. Um, turning on my post notifications so you guys get a notification every time I post is a great way to keep up with me. And I'm also always posting in my business Instagram story. So that's also another way to keep up. What is your handle so people can follow you? It's at withlove.co underscore. Awesome. Do you want to show some of your designs? Yeah. So I think these would have to be one of my favorites. These are a pair of joggers. Um, they are mineral wash, which is very cool because no pair is the same. They have little stars on them. So cute. <laughs> these have been a big hit. Um, this is a sweatshirt that's not completely out yet. I first just posted the sweatshirt with just the smileys on the sleeve and that was it. But last night at like 11.30, I got a great idea to put a smiley face and a little saying that says, be kind to your mind on the back. So now I kind of made it into a whole new sweatshirt, which is so cool. I love the colors. Thank you. They're so cute. This sweatshirt is not out yet either. Um, it's a plain front and it says, wish you were here on the back in this very cool, unique font. And then this one has been a huge hit on my Instagram. This is our infamous LaSalle hoodie <laughs> that we have. Um, it's been so cool to see everybody wearing these on campus and ordering them and yeah. And they can also be custom designed to any school or honestly any saying could go right here too. So that's yeah. super cool. What do you, you make your own designs obviously. I do. And what do you use to make it? Do you have a particular? So the printer that I use to cut out all my vinyl came with a like kind of graphic design okay. little download software that I put into my computer. So everything I do through there, that is also like a huge challenge, just like the graphic design. I'm like honestly not a big like technology computer type girl. So that's been a huge challenge, but it's also so cool to learn and to have those skills in my back pocket. Well, I know I'm super excited to see what else you have to do. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank on you Between for having me. Of course. <laughs> um, keep tuning into Between Two Torches. Uh, check back next week for our next episode. And big thank you to Tori for coming on. Thank you guys.